Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue with our series of tutorials on Excel Power Pivot. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating a four chart dashboard. So if you've done the previous tutorials, you may have noticed when we created a pivot table, one of the options was to be able to create a four chart dashboard. So we're going to be using that option. We're going to see how we can easily create four charts using the human resource data that we used in the previous tutorial. So you're going to see that by using the two tables we've got with the relationship, how we can easily create four charts just basically straight in your Excel. We're also going to combine it with the slicer. So you're going to see that we're going to actually have an interactive dashboard at the end of this tutorial. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's jump into the tutorial. I will see you there. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue to use the data that we loaded in the previous tutorial. So we loaded some human resource data and what we got was two tables. We then created a relationship between the two tables, which allows us to be able to use fields from both of the tables. Now what I want to show you is in this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can create a mini dashboard. So you may have noticed in previous tutorials, when we went up to our pivot table, there was an option that allowed us to create a four charts. So let's have a look and see how that works. So I'm going to select four charts here. I'm going to put it into an Excel. We're going to put it into a new worksheet. And what you'll see is that four pivot charts are now being created within the sheet itself. Now again, if you've done the previous tutorials, you'll know you can click on this pivot chart and it'll bring up all our fields. Basically now we've got both of our tables that we can work with. So let's say, for example, we wanted to create a column chart and what we wanted to do was to use a field and let's say, for example, we wanted to use our department. So we drop a department into the axes. However, we want to use the cost field, which is in our workshops. Now, because we've got the relationship, which we created in the previous tutorial, we can now actually pop the cost into the values. And you'll see by default now, straight away, a new graph is being created. Now, you do get some ability to be able to change this graph. So if you look at the top, you'll see that you get your pivot chart analyze. So you get the ability to be able to change things. So one of the things I'm going to do is take these buttons off. So we're going to take our field buttons off. Also, if you wanted to, you could change the heading here. So we're going to say training cost. We're going to say by department. So we'll accept that. Also, if we wanted to, we could remove this legend. Just going to press the delete. There we go. A lot easier to see. So as you can see, that's pretty easy to put together. Let's move on to another one. Let's say, for example, in this one, we wanted to see what was our training cost across, say, our different years. So in our workshops, let's go across to our workshops. We go down. We'll see that we've got our year field. So we're going to actually add our year field into this. And let's use the cost. It happens to be in the same table. So we'll pop it in there. Now you'll see by default what it's done is it's created a column chart. But let's say I wanted to actually use a line chart for this. So what I could do is I'm going to click on this. And then we're going to go up to design. You'll see that we get the ability to change the chart type. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to say in this case, we're actually going to use a line graph. So we'll click OK. And again, we won't need our legend for this one. Also, we won't need these buttons. So I'm going to remove those. Let's take the field buttons off. And again, let's give this title. So we're going to say training cost by year. That's looking pretty good. Let's look at another type of graph that we could do. If we go back to Employee Master, let's say, for example, we wanted to see our different gender. So let's say we're going to pop our gender into the x axis and we want to know how many employees we got by the different gender. So let's go to our employee name and we're going to drop that into our values. And you'll see now that we've got a breakdown of between the two female and male. Let's say again, we're going to change that. So we'll go to a change chart type. I'm going to say we want to see this as a pie. That looks pretty good. You'll see that we've got our legend over here. It's always a bit painful to have to go and look at the legend, then look at your graph to figure out what's going on. So let's see if we can change this a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go across to our design and we're going to change our quick layout. We're going to use the first quick layout. And what that does now is it gives us the ability to label each one of these. So it shows us our percentages now on there. Again, you can see over here, we still got that. So we're going to now just remove that field button. And let's say percentage of employees by gender. 
So there we go, we've got our third one. Now let's say we want to create another pivot chart. And in this case, we want to know, let's say we want to know what is the total training cost by our different course names. So we're gonna to go to our workshops table for this one. Go down to our course name, drop that in there. Let's get our cost in there. And you can see it's now created a vertical, we got our column chart. Maybe for this one, you might want to make it a bar chart. So let's say we want to change the design, change chart type. And in this case, we're gonna say we want to have a bar. So create a bar there. Again, you can see this is taking up a lot of space. So we're gonna say field buttons. Again, let's take off the legend. And again, you could give this a title now. So you could say that you would want to see this by, so you could say that you wanted your title to be, we're gonna say training cost by course name. So there we go, we've now created a four graph dashboard. So as you can see, these graphs are nicely there. But what if you now wanted to use a slicer to be able to filter this? Let's say we wanted to make this a little bit more interactive. So what you do is you actually select one of your pivot charts and in your pivot chart analyze, you'll see there's an option called insert slicer. So let's say we're gonna use the employee master and we want to use our job grade as our slicer. So we're gonna say okay on that. So now we've got a slicer. We've got a different three job grades that are in the data at the moment. We've got admin management. And you'll see what happens. And when I select one of the job grades, you'll see that this graph now gets filtered. I select that again, you can see that it's now been changed. However, how do you make all of these graphs been changed? So let's just clear that filter. And what you'll see is that there's actually a menu option called Slicer. And if you go across to your report connections, this allows you then to be able to link to your different charts. So if we open this, see if we can open up this a little bit, there we go. You'll see now we've got our four charts. So if we select each of the four charts, you can see the one on sheet three, click OK. And now you'll see that as I click on my slicer, all four of my charts are actually now being filtered. So that's basically how we create our dashboard showing the information from our Power Pivot. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you in the next one.